Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Full Damage on the Minecraft Season 4 server. We're over here at the castle today. Wasn't really sure what I was going to work on. I've been doing a lot of uh, off-camera work. I've been working on the dome over over yonder. Uh, that's kind of what we're doing today as well, in a roundabout sort of way. What I have down here... Ouch. Is a spawner of some kind that you don't know yet. It's a spider spawner. Wow. Uh, we're gonna turn this into a string farm because I need a hell of a lot of wool. There's a cave out here with a whole bunch of guys in it. We'll let them be. I'm gonna turn this into a string farm so we can uh, get some wool. I'm gonna clear out an area in this noisy, noisy cave and I shall see you guys in a second. Okay, so we have this 11 by 11 by 3 room dug out with a hole in the roof because that's necessary for the construction of it. Um, I may have been where my lad. No, it wasn't. I don't know. I don't know what that was for. Anyway, we have this 11 by 11 by 3. It's slightly bigger than it needs to be. It needs to be 10 by 10 by 3, but obviously 10 by 10 we can't center the spawn block in the middle, so it's 11 by 11 by 3. You will notice that the block sound appeared way later than it should have done. I'm getting a little bit of lag. I've been having it for the last couple of days, unsure why. Uh, but anyway, it's also got this 3x3x5 three by three by hole dug into the center of it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, the room, like I said, needs to be 10x10x4. 10 by 10 by 10x3, uh, 10 10 sorry. Uh, the reason being, a lot of people think it needs to be 8x8x3. Eight by eight by uh, but the reason being why it's this size is that um, if a spider were to spawn uh, on the edge here, and it was only if the like a, a spider could spawn on this block here because it's in it's within range of the spawn here. Uh, but if they were to spawn on this block or on the edge of this block, they would then suffocate in the wall if the wall was on this block here. So it's wider than it needs to be. Or it's wider than the 8x8, so nothing will suffocate. Um, this is a little deeper than it needs to be. It needs to be four blocks lower than the spawner, or four blocks dug down here. Uh, that will allow the, the spiders to be removed from the spawning zone. Uh, so the spawner will spawn more spiders. Uh, and then we just need to place water in the corners here. Uh, but first, I'm going to need to work out where these spiders are going to go and how we're going to kill them. Uh, not entirely sure how I want to do that yet. You can tell by how the stars are moving, which is not doing right now. There we go. How bad my connection is. No idea why. I'm not. My download speeds aren't great. It's it's certainly not what it was before when it was really bad, like I was getting 0.1 down, megabits down. But I'm getting a few megabits down, it really shouldn't affect Minecraft that much. If it's, a, I'm, it's only like 5 megabits or megabytes down. But that shouldn't be a problem for Minecraft, and my ping is only like 34 seconds. So it must be my connection to the server somehow. I can see the moon jumping back and forth. It was worse earlier. It's not doing as much now. Anyway, let's stop stargazing. Let's go down into the spider cave thingy. And let us do... Uh, around where do we want to go? Down this way. Down this way. So what I've dug out here, I don't think you guys have seen this yet. What I've dug out, you've got the hole here, and then coming off to one side, we have a tunnel that's three by two by one, two, three, four, five. Then a three block downwards thingy, and then one, two, three, four. And then the ceiling here, we have a 2x3 space. So we're going to place some signs first and foremost. We're going to want one there, eventually. No? Did I not actually place it? 
Uh, I think I did. There we go. One there. One there. Come on now. There we go. And let's move this torch quickly. Let's put that there. And one sign there. Yep, that's the torch coming off. Okay, fair enough. Ah, frustratingly laggy. Not much we can do though. I really want to get an episode out today because it's been a while since I released one. Okay, let's also change this around a little bit. Okay, let's put a hold there. Thank you. Uh, we're going to want to change out this floor to be hoppers. Uh, like like so we'll do fine just any any way that will make it all feed into this hopper down here which will eventually feed into a chest uh, we're gonna want to put a piece of water here and here let's grab some more and another piece ah, my inventory's been all messed up with the lag Come on now, grab that piece of water. Grab that piece of water. There we go. Okay, we're then going to want signs along here. Eventually. There we go. And along here. And along here. There we go. We're then going to want a piece of water there piece of water there. That should create an infinite spring in the middle here. It does. Then we're just going to want some water up there, up there. And when eventually that works itself out, there we go, and up there. Just to make a solid piece of water up here. This is where the spiders are going to drown and all their items are going to go here. Uh, let's grab some more water again. There we go. So then we're going to want a couple of pieces there, which are going to create a stream which heads down this way and doesn't drop down here. Was it meant to? I believe so. Okay, what we can do is take out this row of blocks here. Yeah, that's that's. I think that's how it was anyway, or how it was meant to be. Uh, let's get some torches in here. Torches in here probably won't matter with the spawn rates, hopefully. Um, we've got all the water going down there, whatever. Okay, and then that's all the water for down in this area. We're going to want two... we're going to want four more buckets worth to go upstairs. Did I drop my chicken? I did. Uh, let's place some stuff there. Okay. Hooey. I don't like messing around with water. It's a pain in the ass. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, let's possibly grab my chicken. There we go. And a torch. Lovely. Okay, so then we're going to go upstairs here. This is the actual spawning room. Uh, we're going to want to take out these ladders. Oh, and then we're going to have to go back around, aren't we? Oh well. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, let's go back round. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's go back upstairs. And in here, we're going to want to... We'll leave those torches for now. Uh, we're going to want to remove this one. Place water there. Uh, then, let's place one there. Okay, that should have taken out that torch. Oh, you know what? Because it's ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what it's doing. Um, really, it's fine anyway. It's going for this for the for the gap here because well, it can. It would be fine, but I want to get the water done how I did it in the test world. So, let's replace these. 
this and this as you now go to the middle yep and then feed down into here uh, we want the same kind of deal on the other side oh yeah that's not gonna work there's a damn zombie somewhere let's get some more water quickly from here thank you thank you I think we've already got some spawns going to we do. Okay, let's get a piece of water there. And a piece of water there. Okay. Then we can take out this hole here. And take off all these torches. Excellent. So now we should get all the possible spawns and as quickly as possible the spiders are going to be taken out of range of the spawner and and killed and turned into lovely lovely string we could even put some glass here to see them dying eventually but it should be working fine get our first bit of string too. We did! Yay! Excellent. Yeah, it is working. Okay, good. So we get, what, nearly two pieces from each spider? Two on average? One on average? Excellent. It is working. And we should... It should be as, as efficient as it possibly can be. We could also, uh have some way to not kill the spiders and, and loot them. That's always an option. And we might get some random spawns as well because we do have those... Is that a skeleton in here? Yeah, there is. Yeah. Oh, that was probably from a spider jockey, actually. Uh, but we might have some random spawns because there are... Um, those four spawning spaces in here around the outside, one, two, three, four. Um, that won't be a problem. They'll get sucked down into the system the same way and it will be able to accommodate them and they shouldn't affect the spawn rate of this too badly. But anyway, that's working. I'm happy with that. Good, good, good. So we also have a couple of donators to thank today. Thank you to... Vlex and Evan S, thank you very much for your donations, very much appreciated. We're also going to add those names to the birthday chamber. Is it night time? It's night time. Let's have a nap. Sleep, 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 sleepy. Let's go add those names to the birthday chamber, um, as it is the latest episode since the episode before the last episode, which was before the white birthday, the, you know, reasons why the birthday chamber exists. Uh, next episode, I think we're going to probably work on setting up some kind of barn for Canadian to live in. Um, I want him to be roaming around eventually, just out and about, but we need some kind of barn for animals anyway, to, you know, farm animals. Uh, so we'll set up some kind of barn where Canadian Canadian can live temporarily. Canadian being the uh, the pig in the in the hockey arena here, which we can't even see. He's somewhere in there. Good old Canadian. Uh, so we went to a new restaurant over the, the, the last week or so. Uh, we went to a place called Tucker's. Tucker's Marketplace uh, in in the Bywood Market. It's a buffet-style restaurant, like um, all-you-can-eat buffet kind of style. And they have basically everything. They had sweet and sour fish, which I have never seen, but that stuff was delicious. They had two kinds of mussels, they had roast pork, they had roast chicken, they had potatoes, Yorkshire pudding, they had a salad bar, they had a pasta bar, they had a stir-fry bar, they had everything. It was the most wonderful restaurant I've ever been to. A lot of places, a lot of people said it was bad. Oh no! Oh no! The birthday chamber opened last night and we missed it! We missed it. Oh no. Now we've got to wait five times sixty four times like three hundred and twenty days. Oh no. That's a shame. 
Aww. Well, let's look in it anyway. Yay, we can see the names here. There you go. All the names. Good, good names. Um, let's break out. Okay. Yeah, anyway, went to, uh, Tucker's, which was delicious. I really, I really enjoyed it. Uh, very happy with there. Um, I had... And it's, it's cheap, too. It's, like, 18 bucks, and birthdays are free as well. They give you a free buffet on your birthday. But it was, I think, 18 bucks, if that, for all you could eat. I had basically five meals worth of stuff. Um, I had... First course, I had various pastry or various salad stuff like some Caesar salad, some onions, um, some other lettucey bits and whatever. And that's my my starter. Then I went onto a fish course where I had the two kinds of mussels: I had the sweet and sour fish. Um, I had some fries, I believe, as well. Uh, then I went on to another main course. I had uh, the roast and stuff. Uh, then I had I can't even remember now, but then I had something else, like a second main course, then I had the, the desserts course, they had like seven cakes, they had brownies, they had various kinds of ice cream, they had cream to spoon onto your cakes and ice cream and whatnot, and this cream was like so thick you could swim in it, it was, oh, it was delicious, I enjoyed it very much, I'm trying to sleep here, but we can't because it's the middle of the day, um, Anyway, if you're ever in Ottawa, I think they have other locations as well, but if you're ever in Ottawa, check out Tucker's Marketplace. Uh, the reviews online, they vary saying it's, it's kind of crap and it's, it's not great and whatnot. I really enjoyed it. It's really good value for money. Really delicious. Yeah, I've, I've got, I had no complaints with it at all. Like, the reviews, I don't know what they're talking about. It was, it was good. <sighs> we need to work on the lake too, at some point. It's getting there, like, we only need to go down a little bit more. Then we're good. Uh, other things that need doing is the dome. We need to work on the map. I'm trying to get that done so we can go back to the, the casino and kind of finish up both the slot machine and the roulette machine, uh, make the currency for it, uh, get all that working. Um, so I'm kind of working on the map, which is why we've got that spider spawner set up. Whoops, break that. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a slow, grindy process because I need basically a double chest full of every kind of wool, which is a lot of wool. Uh, let's do that. Yeah, okay. Um, so yeah, that's, that's a slow process, which hopefully one day will be... Hey, there's a bat. Oh, it disappeared. Oh, there it is. Hey, bat. How you doing? Oh, you're disappearing. Oh, there it is. Hey, bat. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> it's a vanishing bat. Uh, it's kind of fun. Yeah, so um, we also need to work on that barn, like I said. Lots of little things we need to work on. I uh, don't know in what kind of order we're going to do them. I really want to go to the casino. We also need to work on Clue as well. Uh, that's a project that, that kind of stopped. Um, let's fill in this wall. Why not? Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop, boop. Excellent. That's better. I feel I feel much happier now. We'll do that to you. Yeah. That's looking good. Okay. Let me uh, find some things to do. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to have to end this episode early, I'm afraid. Um, it's ten minutes shorter than what I would like, but the connection is so bad at the moment. You can see how long it takes to open up stuff, and that was something I clicked on ages ago. It's just really bad at the moment. I... <sighs> Not sure why. Maybe it is my upload download speed. Maybe it's my um, router. Maybe it's the, some connection somewhere. I'm going to do some diagnosis. Um, that's going to take up the rest of the evening. I did have to also take a break to upload some Project Zomboid. And the upload went fine. Like, it was... Um, it took maybe twice as longer than a, a normal video it takes to upload but it was also twice as big so that was fine so I, it must be somewhere with my connection to the server I don't know I can do some diagnosis and stuff um, but I need to get this uh, by the time I've done all that and, and worked through stuff and whatever it's gonna be a little too late to to keep on recording this episode unfortunately so yes we're gonna have to end this one for today 
Um, but Project Zomboid went up earlier, so if you want some more Adlington content, then definitely you can see the stars. Jesus, definitely go check out Project Zomboid um, because it is it's a really great game. I think one of my favorite games I've ever played. Which I seem to say a lot about games I play. It's honestly a really good game. I'm enjoying the series. Um, I hope you guys do too. Um, definitely go check that out if you haven't already. Um, but yes, as always, thank you guys very much for watching. Sorry it is a short one. I uh, hope you guys do understand, but these things happen. We're at the whim of the internet, unfortunately, with our modern world. Maybe Minecraft. It should be a pen and paper game. That's, that's what it should be. Pen and paper Minecraft. The, the Minecraft guys write down what they did in an episode and mail it to the next Minecraft and they can write down what they did in an episode. And they they will mail it to the next Minecraft. And and once all Minecrackers have uh, mailed it to each other and written what they've done in the episode, so maybe two, two three months of, of writing and, and stuff there, then the final one will upload that to a blog on... Well, no. Uh, if we're not using the internet, then we can't do that. So they will have to 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 make copies of it, handwrite copies of it, because no computers involved, handwrite copies of it, which would then be posted to all the fans. Um, so various around the world, maybe two, three, four weeks delivery time, plus writing out all the copies. If you if we get a team of people to write out all the copies, maybe uh six months writing out all the copies. So depending how long each episode is. Yeah, maybe it's a couple of pages. Well, yeah, okay. Let's say a month writing out all the copies if we had a big team to do it. Um, and and we send those out. And then eventually, after if I'm the first one, you would eventually see my episode maybe a year down the line. That's a terrible idea. Why did I ever come up? Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. And I shall see you all in the next, hopefully less laggy, episode.